So before I start, I just wanna say happy 2023. This is the first video of the new year and I decided to show you guys a super exciting card trick for the first video of the new year. And this trick, I really think it has the potential to fool a lot of people. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get right into the performance for this trick. So we can start by giving the deck a nice and thorough shuffle just like this. It really does not matter the order of the cards. You can see here every single card is different and shuffle. So we're gonna begin this trick by having the spectator select a card, but we're gonna do it in a very interesting way. So I'm gonna have the spectator just pull out a chunk of cards from the middle, like maybe between 12 and 15, it really doesn't matter how many cards we pull out, but here are the cards. As long as they're random, that is all we care about. So I'm gonna hand the cards over to the spectator and I'm gonna ask them to shuffle the cards in their hand face down as much as they like. And then I'm gonna tell them to start dropping cards on the table. You can do it one at a time, you can do it in pairs, you can do it in threes, it doesn't matter to me. As long as we do this and you continue to shuffle, I just want this to be random, right? So you're gonna drop the cards into a pile on the table and you're gonna do this until you have one single card remaining in your hands, okay? When you have one card remaining, I want you to take a look at this card and remember it. This will be your selection, okay? So hopefully you guys can remember this card and I'll let them have it and I'll give them some more cards and I'll tell them here, take your card and literally just place it anywhere you want in the rest of the pile and just shuffle it, just mix it all up, I don't care. And then we're gonna just gather the rest of the deck together here on the table. So here, take your cards that you just shuffled, put everything back together, I really don't care. Here, take some more, shuffle it, mix it all up and then put everything back together. It really does not matter to me. Um, we can ask the spectator, oh, would you like to give the cards a cut? They can give the cards a cut, it does not matter. You guys can see here, every single card is shuffled. So look, I don't wanna do anything. I just want to read your mind. That's all I wanna do in this trick, okay? So try to think of your card, try and send me the information because I'm gonna try to decipher what you're thinking, okay? So first think of the color of the card. Oh, easy, I think this is a black card. And the suit of the card, spades, clubs, spades, clubs, ooh. I'm picking up on clubs for some reason. That's, that's the suit that is feeling more strongly to me. Um, the value is always the hardest part. So I'm gonna list through the values, ace to king. Try not to react when I pass your number though, okay? So here we go. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Whew, okay, this is a tricky one. Um, but you know what? Okay, I think I got it. I actually think I got it. I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna lock in my answer. Um, I think I know the exact card that you actually picked. Um, yeah, this one right over here. This is the exact card. For the first time, you can tell me the name of the card. Hopefully, this was the card that you had chosen. And that right there is the trick. And yeah, that is that is like one of the, one of the best tricks I know. Um, so far. So <laughs> hopefully you guys agree. And without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. All right, guys. So here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So as you guys can see, this is such an awesome effect. Everything seems so fair and so shuffled. It seems impossible. There's like no way you can get a key card. There's no way you could get the information of the spectator's card without looking through the cards. But in reality, you can. And the method for this is so awesome and so easy to do. And I really hope that you guys take this and you can even create many, many more tricks out of this principle that I'm going to teach you in this video. So how does this trick work? Well, I will tell you right now. So it seems like the spectator has a completely free choice of any card. However, what you're doing is you're actually limiting them to only choose any club. And this doesn't have to be clubs. It can be any suit of your choice. You can do spades, diamonds, or hearts. I just did clubs. So the setup for this trick is you're going to pull out any suit that you'd like and just put it in whatever order. It doesn't matter the order because these cards are going to be shuffled very, very thoroughly anyways. So these cards will be placed on the bottom of the deck and that is the setup for your trick. So the rest of the deck is normal and you have all of the clubs on the bottom. So to begin this trick, you're going to shuffle the top half of the deck. And I like to say this line, I just like to say, so to begin, we're gonna give the deck a very, very thorough shuffle. And even though you're only shuffling one half of the deck, when you say the line thorough shuffle, it just makes it seem like the deck is really getting thoroughly shuffled. And the spectators will not even remember this anyways in the end because 
of the amount of shuffling that you're about to do in this trick anyway. So then what I like to do is I turn the deck face up and I block push. What I mean by that is I'm going to push over many cards, so I'm going to conceal all those clubs next to each other. I'm going to block push and then just kind of spread through the cards, showing that the cards are completely shuffled up. Then what I do is I'm going to pull back until I see the first club over here, which is the Ace of Clubs. And what I'm going to do is in jock this card. So I'm going to take my fingers and move that card down a little bit, just like this, so that when I square up the cards, turn the cards over, now it will be very easy for me to catch a break on all these clubs, which is exactly what I need to do next. So I'm gonna be pushing down on that ace and then pushing in. That will allow me to get a thumb break and then I will transfer that to a pinky break. So now all of the clubs are now separated from the rest of the deck on the bottom here. So once you're in this position, you're going to spread out the cards for the spectator and tell them to reach into the middle and pull out a chunk of anywhere between 10 to 15 cards. So they're gonna go ahead and do this. They're gonna pull out a chunk from the middle of about 10 to 15 cards, and it doesn't matter how many they pull out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flip over the cards that they just pulled out, and you're going to spread them out on the table from right to left, okay? So right to left, spread the cards out for the spectator to see. And you're just gonna do this very casually. You don't even have to look at these cards because none of these cards are about to be in the spectator's hand. You're gonna be switching all of these cards for all of the clubs on the bottom of the deck. And you do this in a very sneaky way. You're going to hold your finger down on this last face of card here. As you square up all the face of cards, you're going to place all of these cards on top of the deck. And as you place these on top of the deck, your hand is going to raise up just like this. So you're gonna place it on top of the deck. And then you're simply going to cut the cards at the break. And you're gonna place all the cards above the break on the table and then immediately come down with the cards in your left hand and continue to shuffle them. This has now allowed you to switch the packet for all of these clubs, but if you do this very, very fast and very casually, it's completely indetectable, especially with misdirection. So you spread out the cards and you just kind of square up like this and you continue to shuffle. If you do this during your patter, during your dialogue, no one will suspect anything is going on. It just looks like you're squaring up the cards and turning them over. So now you're gonna hand these over to the spectator and ask them to shuffle the cards face down in their hand. And basically they're gonna be dropping cards as you saw in the performance until they have one left. Obviously it doesn't matter what card they choose because these are all clubs and that's all you need to know. So they're gonna look at this card. In this case, look at that. We have the ace of clubs again. You tell them to hold onto this card and what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread off a random amount of cards from the top and you're going to ask the spectator to insert the card that they've just selected inside of the middle of this packet which it will be going into right here. And as you can see, this will be the only club in this entire packet. So they can continue to completely shuffle and destroy the order of this packet, it doesn't matter. And as they're shuffling, you're gonna spread out about half of the remaining deck and drop it on top of all the clubs on the table. What this will do is it will basically separate all of these clubs on the bottom with a bunch of random cards on top so that now when you ask the spectator to start putting cards on top of the deck, now, there's no way that that ace of clubs will be touching the rest of the clubs, so it will be extremely easy for you to identify which card they have chosen. So as you can see, if I spread through the deck right now in its current state, you will notice every single club is left on the bottom here, and if we look through the deck for the one club that is out of place, we will see the ace of clubs is that card. So then what I like to do is I actually have the spectator cut the deck because at this point I can do another block push spread so I can spread through the cards. I like to do this face down. I just hold the cards up to them and I turn my head away so that I'm not looking. But I spread through the first half of the deck and then when I get to about halfway, I'm gonna block push a bunch of cards and then continue to spread the bottom because in the act of cutting the cards, you've actually placed all of those black cards, all those clubs in the center of the pile. So in order to conceal that, you're going to block push the middle like this but you're still showing the spectator this is what they're gonna see. They're gonna see just a bunch of random shuffled cards like this. So then you're gonna set the deck down. All the information that you have right now is you know that they've selected a club. So you use that to your advantage and you tell them that you're going to read their mind. So you start by deciphering the color. You say, hmm, I think your card is a black card. And then you do the suit. Um, I think your card is a club. And then you tell them that the value is the trickiest, but you're gonna list the cards from ace to king. So ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Pretend like you're struggling a little bit, but then say, ah, I got it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and lock in my answer. And what you're doing is you're now going to pick up the cards 
and you're just gonna look for the one club that is out of place. And if you've just given the deck one cut from before, then the club that they've chosen should be somewhere around the bottom half of the deck. So right here, I can see the Ace of Clubs very clearly standing out right over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take this card out of the deck and hold onto it and ask them what was the card that they've chosen and boom, the Ace of Clubs, you show it and everyone freaks out and that is the trick. Of course, you don't end completely clean. You do have all these clubs in the middle, but what you can do is you can just give the deck a shuffle before you reveal. You can say, remember, we took the cards, we gave them so many shuffles beforehand. You were able to choose any card. We placed the cards back in completely random positions and somehow I was able to decipher your card and then you reveal the card. So in the act of doing the reveal, you can shuffle the cards, you can destroy the order so that there is no more setup and that is up to you. But yeah, that is really the entire trick right there. It's extremely easy as you can see. The method is very simple, but it's so, so powerful. It really does fool a lot of people because of how fair the shuffling process is. So yeah, I really hope you guys can take this principle and hopefully apply it to other effects. I think it's a really, really powerful tool that has endless possibilities. So yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.